students let's start this new lesson changes physical and chemical from textbook page number 88 we will first discuss some examples some pictures on the textbook you can see some examples first example is one glass is kept yes and besides that one bowl is kept in which there is powder or you can say it as sugar in that glass there is milk what will happen if you add the sugar into the milk when you add the sugar into the milk the sugar will get dissolved and it will get completely mixed with the milk so you can see the change from solid to the liquid right the sugar was first of all in the state of solid when it got mixed with milk it got turned into liquid state then next one is a ice cube in the hand of one person when the ice cube is kept in the surrounding in the normal room temperature it gets converted to liquid form so there is change in the product okay then next one is one seed with a small sprouting so there is a change from the seedling to the plant after that there is one container placed and it is kept for heating so what change you can see you can see the formation of water vapors after that there is bursting of crackers there is bursting of fancy items right and then fire is given to the wood so there are different types of changes you can see in the surrounding there is not only single type of change there are so many different types of changes but you cannot consider these all as standard changes okay first one change we will see as natural change natural changes are the changes which occur naturally changes like the ripening of a fruit spoiling of milk occur naturally these all are called natural changes sometimes there are no natural changes man prepares the change man by himself does the change in the environment so they are called as man made changes some are natural some are man made for example i take a cycle and i ride a cycle so that is man made change cycle is just kept in front of me so these are man made changes and the natural changes next one is useful change and harmful change many changes such as sharpening of a pencil baking bread cooking food are useful to us and these are therefore called useful changes the changes that are not useful or changes that do us harm are called as harmful changes students sometimes changes are useful otherwise sometimes changes are harmful for example if a snake bite us it is harmful change whereas if you keep the milk and you squeeze some drops of lemon juice into it so what it will turn to it will turn to yogurt so yogurt is useful for us we eat yogurt so that is called as the useful change there are two different types of changes useful and harmful change next one change is fast and the slow change some changes take long time whereas some changes turn quickly so those are called as quick or fast change and slow change changes that takes place in a short period of time are called as fast or quick changes while changes that take place over a long period of time are called as slow change example for a slow change you can take an example of a human being when human being takes birth it takes so many years for him or her to turn older so that is the slow change it may take 50 years it may take 70 years it may take 65 years so that is the slow change what is fast change fast change is the quick change bursting of balloons bursting of crackers these all are fast or quick changes next one is reversible change the changes that can occur in a forward and reverse direction again and again are called reversible changes let's consider one example for reversible change we take wax cube 
we turn the wax cube into candles now if candles are not needed for us again we will melt the same wax candles and turn it again to the wax cube so that is reversible cube can be converted into candle again candle can be converted to a wax cube so these all are reversible changes now what is non reversible change or irreversible change an irreversible change is the change which goes in one direction only for example i take a lemon juice i add the lemon juice into the water i take two small spoons of sugar i take half small spoon of salt and mix it all together to prepare a lemon juice okay so if i add all these ingredients after that after half an hour i want to separate those can i separate those all ingredients get to obtain the sugar separately to obtain the salt separately to obtain the lemon juice separately no i cannot do that so this type of change is called irreversible change clear then periodic changes and non periodic changes some changes occur again and again after a definite interval of time such changes are called periodic changes some changes do not occur again and again or some changes occur again and again but not in a fixed period of time so those are called as non periodic changes let's take some example regarding it for a chicken it requires 21 days to come out of the egg yes hatching of the egg they require 21 days so that is called as the periodic change whereas the example for non periodic change is blowing of wind yes so blowing of wind is non periodic because why it is not for the fixed period of time it can be anyhow the wind will blow any time anywhere anyhow so these are the differences between periodic change and non periodic change now we come to the actual point physical change and chemical change no new substance is formed such a change is called a physical change when any process is done then the object is not changed at all okay so that is called as the physical change the change due to which one substance is transformed into another substance having the new and different properties is called a chemical change students sometimes it happens like when the substance is changed the properties completely differ from the earlier one okay examples like melting freezing boiling of water these all are the examples for physical change whereas burning of coal rusting digestion of food in the body these all types of changes are the chemical change now some examples are displayed on the screen and those are from the textbook page number 90 you can see the raw mango is turned converted into the ripe mango after that there are some pieces of paper present in the small pieces of iron yes so when you take a magnet closer to the iron pieces it gets attracted towards it what remains will be the pieces of small paper now if you again add those small pieces of iron into the pieces of paper it will turn into the same thing what was earlier present so that is not the chemical change it is remaining the same thing so that is the physical change only okay the physical change is the change where only the object structure you can see it is changed physical bodily structure is changed and the chemical change is where completely the object gets converted gets transformed into some other object it's like a lemon juice when all the ingredients are added to the water it prepares the juice whereas if you try to separate those it is not getting separated so that is the chemical change the blooming of flower is a chemical change the ripening of mango is a chemical type of change the process of formation of vapor 
from a liquid is called evaporation what is evaporation when you take water and you heat the water you can see some amount of water gets converted from liquid state to the gaseous state so that is called the water vapor so that is that process is called evaporation evaporation is done when drying of clothes when formation of salt when sea water is converted into salt so the, this all thing is possible only because of process of evaporation let us now conclude this lesson with the last point corrosion when an iron article rust a reddish brown layer forms on it a greenish layer is seen to form on a copper article this process is called corrosion of metals things become weak due to corrosion corrosion is caused by oxygen moisture vapors of chemicals in the air you must have experienced formation of corrosion so many times in your house in your surroundings everywhere people those who live to the coastal area to the seaside area experience corrosion in more amount sometimes your tap gets corroded yes it forms a thin layer sometimes a thick layer also this layer is due to the salt present in the water sometimes your latches sometimes your bicycle sometimes your motor bikes these all gets converted into some brownish appearance on the upper layer of it so that is the corrosion formed due to the oxygen moisture vapors of chemicals are present in the air thank you